Hi, I'm Jim with InStuff Music, and I'm here today to do a demo of the Orange Rocker 15. The Orange Rocker 15, finished here in classic orange orange with a wheat grill cloth. The Orange Rocker 15 is an all tube, 15 watt, 1x10 guitar combo amplifier featuring power attenuation and an effects loop. The Rocker 15 features both clean and dirty channels, a single 10 inch 40 watt 16 ohm gold label internal speaker, three ECC 83 preamp tubes, a single ECC 81 preamp tube, and two EL84 power tubes. On the top panel of the amp, you will find a single quarter inch instrument input, followed by a single volume control for the clean channel, called Natural by Orange. Next, you will find controls for the dirty channel, gain, three band EQ for bass, mid range, and treble, and the volume control for the dirty channel. After that, you'll see the power indicator light, a toggle to go between the natural and dirty channels, a toggle for half power, standby or full power, and finally the on-off switch. The underside panel of the amp features the foot switch jack, the two buffered effects loop, speaker jacks for single 16 ohm or dual 8 ohm loads, and the bedroom headroom switch. Next, a quick note about power attenuation settings. As mentioned, the back underside panel of the Rocker 15 features a toggle that goes between bedroom and headroom modes. On the headroom setting, the amp pushes 15 watts at full power and 7 watts at half power. On the bedroom setting, it pushes 1 watt at full power and half a watt at half power. Finally, the orange Rocker 15 weighs in at a very manageable 30 pounds. Get yours today at instuffmusic.com and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now we're back after the technical specs of this amp. Uh, this amp's a small package, but it really has a lot of cool features, and uh, we're going to try to cover all those as quickly as possible, so let's just jump right in. At the beginning of the video, I was just running through the clean channel, had a little loop going. Uh, I was using some effects, uh, Strymon Timeline, Strymon Mobius, a uh, little bit of an octave thing going up from a, a mini sub and up from TC Electronic, but let's just hear the clean channel all by itself. Now, the clean channel is kind of interesting, like I said in the specs, one knob, so there's no EQ section, but it's voiced really well, it's nice and pleasant, so let's get on the neck here a little bit and give it a listen. Sink the tone in the neck a little bit here. Here's a little of the neck and the middle. Here's a little of the middle. Here's some of the middle and the bridge, and I got the tone down to about seven on this guitar right now. Volume's at about nine. Take the volume off a little bit. Here's the bridge. All right, I'm gonna hit in the front with a king of tone. Just a little overdrive so you can hear how it takes pedals on the front end and the clean channel. 
Little delay going from the timeline. Apologies for the hum, these are real single coils. So you can see I have the amp set right on the edge of breakup. So it's if I really hit it hard, it's it's kind of breaking up a little bit, but it's really nice, it's full sounding. Um, and I am, I am running the amp at full power, and I have uh, all the time-based effects are going through the loop, which is uh, two buffered loops. So the delay you're hearing is through the loop, not into the front. So uh, what I'm gonna do now, just so you can hear it, is I'm gonna knock the amp back to half power. So as I mentioned in the, uh, in the specs, there's a switch underneath in the back, and it's headroom, bedroom. So at headroom, which is full power, when you're at headroom on the back and full power on top, you're at 15 watts. If you go to uh, half power, when it's in headroom mode, you're at seven watts. And then if you go underneath and go to bedroom mode, at full power, you're at one watt. And then if you go to um, half power, you're at half a watt. So let's listen to seven watts. And I'm just gonna play a little bit. Kind of the same clean sound. Here we are back in the neck. Here's the middle and the bridge. Let's kick a little overdrive back on. This really touch sensitive still. It's not squishing too badly, which is really nice. Sometimes when you use a half power switch, it just squashes down, but this, it still is really dynamic. So let's go back to full power. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch it over to the Les Paul and we're gonna hear some overdrive sounds through channel two. Okay, now we're back with the Les Paul. This is an R7 with aux fours in it. Let's hear it. Uh, you can see I have it set. Not totally gained out, kind of more of a vintage overdrive sound. Here we are in the bridge, volumes on about eight, tones on about nine. the neck. the middle. Mm -hmm. 
Scan it out a little bit more. So let's bring us up now. Yeah, it's about two o'clock. Cut my bass a little bit. I'm gonna bring my mids forward a little. I'm gonna keep that bright switch down. Kind of keep the volume where it is. Here we are. <laughs> Orange Rocker 15. The Orange Rocker 15 finished here in classic orange orange with a wheat grill cloth. <laughs> God damn. I did that on purpose. No, no, I know. F my take. That's gonna be the outtake. Yeah. <laughs>